Let's check on stories we're following for you today on Robin Hood Radio. In police news out of Falls Village, a 16-year-old Canaan resident has been issued a juvenile summons October 10th from State Police at Troop B following an incident that occurred at Housatonic Valley Regional High School. The juvenile was charged with disorderly conduct and appeared in Torrington Juvenile Court October 24th. No other information was provided by State Police or the courts. Meanwhile, police investigating the theft of a cargo trailer October 13th from Lone Oak Campground. That trailer was described as a 2013 carry-on trailer with license plate AE01383. The trailer was last seen October 12th. Anybody with information asked to contact State Police Troop B at 860-626-1820. News out of Albany celebrating an event with the release of balloons in New York may soon be out the window. State lawmakers recently introduced a bill that would bar the release of 25 or more balloons into the sky over a 24-hour period, saying the balloons are a blight on the environment and a danger to wildlife. The measure was introduced in February by Assemblyperson Stephen Engelbright, a Long Island Democrat who heads the Chamber's Environmental Conservation Committee. Preparing for Medicaid open enrollment for 2020, What's New? is coming up October 30th. Representatives of the Western Connecticut Area Agency will explain the many changes in Medicare 2020. Attendees will receive an update on changes planned for the coming year. It's being held at Noble Horizons, Cobble Road in Salisbury. Registration is necessary at noblehorizons.org. 860-435-9851. Millerton-based artist Martha Zemillis draws, paints, weaves, writes, and designs needlepoint and has mastered the ancient techniques of icon painting using egg, tempera, and gold leaf. Two Walls Gallery, a student-curated gallery at Housatonic Valley Regional High School, will have her exhibit her work. The opening exhibition is October 30th at 1 to 4 p.m. The public is invited. Two Walls Gallery will be open Monday through Friday, 9 to 4, located in the Media Center at Housatonic Valley Regional High School in Falls Village. In Dover, New York, there will be a regular town board meeting coming up 6.30 on October 30th. A special selectments meeting being held in North Canaan, Connecticut on Wednesday the 30th at 7 p.m. Irondale Schoolhouse on Thursday the 31st presents a haunted Halloween with DJ Jeremy, costume contest goodies and fun for all, a trophy ceremony for the business window competition. That all happens in between 4 and 9 p.m. Halloween at the Hotchkiss Library and Sharon Trick or Treat. It's at 5 o'clock. This year is a very special day at the Hotchkiss Library. Visit them if you dare for tricks, treats, and surprises. Copake's Halloween party is being held on October 31st at the Copake Park Building. Party starts at 5, costume judging at 5.30 sharp, children and adults, sponsored by Clock Tower Pub and Girl and Copake Sunoco. Falls Village Recreation invites you and your family to a Halloween party October 31st, 5.15 to 7.30 at the Center on Main, Falls Village. They want to see your costumes parade down Main Street at 5.15. Pizza for everybody, apple cider, Halloween candy treats. Special guest magician Sandy Rhodes performs at 6 p.m. For more information, order RSVP 860-824-0707. The Sharon Fire Department Ladies Auxiliary Annual Halloween Gathering is happening on Thursday the 31st at 5.30 at the Sharon Firehouse. Sharon preschoolers through third graders are welcome. Costume judging at 5.45. SVNA Hospice Floating Lantern Ceremony to Honor and Remember will be held Friday, November 1st, 4 till 5.30 at the Town Grove in Lakeville, Connecticut. Light refreshments will be served. Everybody is welcome. They're asking you to RSVP and check in advance at 860-435-0816. A Bunko fundraiser sponsored by the Sharon Fire Department Ladies Auxiliary on Friday the 1st at the Sharon Firehouse. Doors open at 6.30. Playing starts at 7. The uh, hoard prizes, half goes towards the auxiliary fundraiser, half goes towards the winner. Reservations are not required. Want more information? 860-364-0486 or 860-364-0292. The Salisbury Rotary Club and King Arthur Flower sponsoring a cupcake challenge on Saturday, November 2nd from 10 till 2 at the Pilgrim House during the annual Calico Fair. It's $10 to enter. Funds raised will provide a roof for the Pilgrim House in North Canaan, which houses fishes and loaves, the food pantry, and closets. Contact Heidi at 860-248-1717 or Fran Chappelle at 860-824-0597 to participate or donate to the cause. 
The Ed McGuire Memorial Cannonball Run, the 5K, will take place on November 2nd at noon. Walkers at 11.30. The traditional firing of the cannon will start the race. An awards ceremony will follow on the green. Prizes will be awarded to the two top female and male runners in nine different divisions. Entry fee is $25. Those 14 and under, $15. The event is co-sponsored by Shelley's Hair Salon and Falls Village Volunteer Fire Department, which is the recipient of the funds raised. More information at 860 or graystoneracing.net. The Spaghetti Dinner to raise funds for the Housatonic Valley Regional High School student trip to the Galapagos Islands in April of 2020 will take place in the school cafeteria November 2nd, 5 till 7 p.m. Tickets to $10 can be purchased from students taking the trip or teachers Latili Garcia trip or Danielle Molino. The event will also feature a variety of raffle prizes. Hotchkiss Library and Sharon will hold its 12th annual auction on Saturday, November 2nd, 5.30 till 7.30 at Lion Rock Farm. Live and silent auctions, other items including a private tour of the New York Public Library and more. Tickets are $150 in advance and at the door. Available online, hotchkisslibrarygala.weebly.com. The First United Presbyterian Church is hosting its annual turkey supper on Saturday. Family-style seating at 6 p.m. Takeout dinners may be picked up between 4.30 and 5.30. For reservations, 518-398-7056. Wine on ice. Uh, you've got uh, meridials and craft beer, small bites, and a silent auction. Benefit the Norfolk Curling Club. The wine tasting is Saturday from 5 till 8 p.m. Tickets are available $30 in advance, $35 at the door. More information is available at the club. And Sharon Audubon has its Kids Day. It'll be held this coming Sunday, the 3rd from 12 till 3 at Sharon Audubon Center. There'll be lots to go on. Kids crafts, games, live animals, a hay bale maze, hay wagon shuttles, professional face painting, a large leaf pit for jumping, balloon twisting, snacks, fresh and delicious apple cider donuts from Great Cape Baking Company. And if kids come in costume, there'll be their famous costume parade around the grounds at 2.30. More information is available at Sharon.audubon.org. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgan's at the Interlake and Interlakeandin.com and by Salisbury Bank, SalisburyBank.com. The Dow Jones Industrial Average finished up the day yesterday at 20,090.72, up 132.66. The NASDAQ starts off today at 8325.99 and the S&P 500 at 3,039.42. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few moments.